Hello. Hey man, sorry to bug you. You got a minute? Yeah, it's fine, what's up? I don't know, just extremely bored. Like, I'm thinking of doing something drastic and stupid, like investing in Bitcoin. I'm looking for a new game. Something with giant humanoid robots, isometric PVP action, something on the Abyss platform that's free to pay. Play. Play. Free to play. That's a highly specific, man. I'm an interesting man of the world. I just want something that matches my unique desires and passions, you know? This is an ad for my channel, isn't it? Yep. Okay, but how do you know it and not me, since I haven't asked you yet? Yourself from the future. This ad got weird! This film degree is just paying for itself. Let's take a look at Tech Wars Global Conflict. Breaking. When I started breaking down the lore of the Tech Wars game, I found out that it was based on a novel by Mikel Vlad, which is pretty cool. I got pretty curious about his books and looked into them, and then couldn't find anything. I guess he'll just be remembered in the game itself. My ineptitude aside, the lore is actually pretty intriguing. The year is 2050 and super corporations now control America, known as the Cato Forces, and Russia, known as the Dominion. Wait, in this timeline did Russia join the EU? The two sides battle it out in a post-apocalyptic wasteland where large robots are powered by humans. Okay, okay, it's not the most original backstory, but in all sincerity, the game's pretty fun. The controls and overhead display can take some time getting used to, but the fighting and control is pretty solid once you know what you're doing. Again, you're in command of giant robots and try to gain control of other points or just kill the other side enough times. And just think about it. If you're an American, you're killing Russian bots. Yeah, you're mad because I thought of it first. Don't even lie. So, as I was saying, I really enjoy playing the game overall, though I do wish they had worked on the overhead and controls to a degree. The game is pretty straightforward and, unironically, I'm not joking here, I've added it to my list of games that once I need a break, I'll turn it on. I enjoy that I can just start a game, jump in, and play a couple of times. Though I do question how many are AI versus actual players. But that's not the only thing. You can buy new mechs, make new mechs, or add different items to existing ones. But is that piece any fun? Customization, arming, and creating new mechs is somewhat of your standard fare with the ability to create both Dominion and Kato mechanical robots. You have different resources which you have to earn enough in order to bring them all together and then you can fashion whatever kind of mech you want. You can choose weapons that allow for long and close range along with different armor and abilities. So unlike some games where you are pigeonholed by weight or perhaps class, you can create and customize all kinds of different mechs. You will also have to think on how you want to customize the mech as well since any part of the mech can be damaged. You'll have to consider if you want a weapon that requires use of one hand or both hands or have it strapped to your back. Additionally, sometimes you'll have to deal with overheating and that's something to take into account. As with all free-to-play games, there are aspects that many probably won't like, and this includes containers, basically loot boxes, with the ability to give you randomized items. However, through daily missions, you can also get these items for free as well. Now, as I've made abundantly clear, this is a paid advertisement. I am making money off of it. That said, it's really, really fun, and that's me actually saying it. They only required me to tell you four things, and then I could say whatever I wanted that was not in the contract. Those four things specific were, wait for it, involving giant humanoid robots, has isometric PvP action, action can be found on the Abyss platform, and is free to play. Beyond that, again, I can say whatever I want. And not only am I letting you guys know about it, I am completely sincere when I say that I will be actually playing this game. In fact, I'm probably playing it tonight at twitch.tv forward slash Lord Reloaded if you're watching it the date of upload. This game's pretty fun. Definitely check it out. If you click below in the description, you'll get some free goodies because that's how I roll. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Comments, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded.